Sam Houston goes on to Tennessee after the Creek War and there is developed as a protege of Andrew Jackson, holding one government post uh, and then moving to the next sort of government post that, that is the next in line for his career and uh, finally gets elected to Congress from Tennessee as a 30-year-old man. In Congress, he is a pro-Jackson guy and lobbies hard and campaigns hard for Andrew Jackson in the election of 1824. Of course, we know how that turns out. Doesn't go Jackson's way. But Jackson appreciates Sam Houston's efforts. Well, Sam Houston runs for Congress again, serves his second and last term, before running for governor of Tennessee. If Andrew Jackson's running for president, and he is elected in 1828, he needs somebody he can trust in Nashville. That'll be Sam Houston. So Sam Houston, 1827, is elected governor of Tennessee. One problem with Sam Houston being governor of Tennessee, he's unmarried. He's a bachelor governor. He needs an official hostess. He needs that sort of female ornament on his arm. So he goes looking for a wife and settles on Eliza Allen. Now, Eliza Allen is about half his age. Sam Houston's in his early 30s. Eliza Allen's in her late teens. And um, Sam Houston says, boy, she'll do. I like Eliza Allen. Eliza Allen goes, uh, yay, I get to marry a 30-year-old a guy in his middle 30s. This is very exciting for me. I'm very honored. The people that were really probably pushing this marriage, her parents. Who wouldn't want their daughter in this day and age, late 1820s, to be married to the governor of Tennessee? She would be taken care of. She would have access to the power circles and the money. It was a dream come true for her parents. But Eliza Allen probably had a boyfriend, more her age, from the neighborhood. Doesn't matter. She marries Sam Houston. Nobody quite knows what happens with that marriage. The wedding takes place in January of 1829. By April, Sam Houston resigns his governorship and disappears into the American West. Well, of course, historians love to speculate on exactly what caused the end of that very brief marriage. One idea is that she just didn't love Sam Houston and couldn't be brought to love Sam Houston, and may have loved somebody else. Um, a minority opinion, but an opinion that's out there in the historical literature suggests that um, Sam Houston might have had some lingering effects from the arrow wound, and it might not have had to do with performance issues, but it may have had to do with the fact that the wound had never quite healed. And so there was an issue of always having to clean it out and change the dressings and all that that entails. And in that day and age, you know, you weren't really familiar with all that geography. And so Eliza Allen might have freaked out. That makes a pretty nice story. I don't know which one is true. Long and short of it, Liza Allen, Sam Houston split. And um, they both vow to never speak of it.